Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Eptech Knowledge. In this tutorial, we are going to integrate this admin template to our admin dashboard in Laravel. So here we are going to use this template and I actually really like this template. This template looks really nice and look really premium. So we are going to use this template and I will also give the template download link in the description so that you can just download it from there. And this template name is Corona. So uh, in the previous tutorial, we added this template to the home page and in this tutorial, we are going to integrate this admin template to our admin dashboard. So let's go and first login to our admin dashboard. Let's click login and let's say here admin at that of gmail.com. Let's keep the password. Let's click login. So currently, this is how our admin dashboard looks like and here you can see it's written admin and we have a logout option over here and we cannot actually see over here but we can actually log out from here. So for integrate the admin template, first of all, we need to download this template and I will obviously give the template download link in the description and here this is the github link where you can download the template. Here you can see it's written over here corona. And in order to download it here you can see code and here if you click on code you will see download zip option just click on it and it will start downloading the template here you go the template is downloading and the download is complete so uh, let's just open in uh, show in folder and here you can see admin template master so first of all we need to extract this template so let's just right click over here and then then click extract here and there you go here you can see admin template master at the down here you can see which is uh, this one so we'll just go inside this folder let's go inside and here you can see some more file we'll just directly go to this template folder so in this template folder you can see a lot of file and here you can see index now this is a html file uh, let me just open it uh, i'll just right click over here and we'll say open with google chrome and here you can see this is the template so first of all we're going to copy every file or folder from here and we're going to paste those folder in our project public folder so let's just copy everything from here uh, except this package.json and uh, okay let's just copy everything except the package.json and i'll just click copy and right now we'll go to our project and here you can see e-commerce pro this is our project and we'll just directly go to our public folder so we are not going to directly uh, paste all the folder over here we're going to create a admin folder over here first so let's just click a new then folder and we'll say here admin and in this admin folder we're going to paste all that folder or file that we copied let's control v and here you can see all the file we just copied from the template so if i just go to my code and uh, if you go to our public folder here you can see we have a folder called admin and inside admin we have all the folder that we just pasted in our project so right now uh, what we want is that we want to show the index.html uh, view to the admin dashboard so for it uh, let's go back to our code again and we'll go to our resource views and inside views uh, we have admin and inside admin we have home.plate.php and here you can see admin text uh, written over here which is this one and here you can see logout option uh, admin now this is actually this two line now this two line is responsible for logout option actually so uh, this two line will be required but for now we'll just uh, remove this whole code from here and we'll go to our public admin and here you can see uh, in the admin folder we have index.html so we're so, so we going to copy every code from here so control a control c and we're going to paste every code over here so control v so currently uh, if we just save it and if we now refresh here we'll see a different view over here and here you can see it's like this the design is not proper and the reason is actually really simple here you can see 
uh, in the link uh, here you can see in the h step we say asset slash vendor and blah 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 but uh, those asset file folder is actually in the admin folder here you can see uh, this asset pages partial all of them is inside the admin folder so we also need to mention the admin folder over here in the href in all the href so i'm just going to select every href over here and we'll just say here admin slash then we'll again just go down directly go down and here you can see uh, some more skip source over here as well so again we are just going to select everywhere every source uh, for the script as well uh, let me just select it first is there anyone left okay now let's say here admin slash okay i hope everything is done properly let me just recheck okay everything is fine so currently if we just save it and if we just refresh here we should see a proper look over here here you can see a overview for the admin template but here you can see the uh, images are missing uh, over here here you can see there is images but here images are missing the reason is simple we also mentioned the uh, admin folder for the images wherever we mentioned the image so here you can see uh, image source uh, here we also need to mention admin slash so here you can see there is another source over here so let's say here admin slash now these are not in but let's just fix it as well save it or uh, refresh okay the images are back over okay the logo is missing so instead of using corona you can actually use your own logo over here but we can do it later let's just do our important uh, part first so these are admin template and here you can see the number of uh, code is actually over thousand thousand sixty six so we're going to separate our code uh, we'll uh, make a file for header and make a, another file for sidebar in uh, and keep them in a separate blade file so let's go back to our code and here uh, in the home.blade.php here you can see so here you can see partial partial sidebar.html and it started from here here you can see nav it started from here this is the sidebar part and it ended uh, let me just go down it ended over here here you can see the nav ended over here it's written also partial over here as well so if we just cut it from here and if we just save it now and if we just refresh here you can see the sidebar is gone so we are going to create file in the views admin folder uh, called sidebar.blade.php so here we'll just click on the admin then click new file and we'll say sidebar.blade.php so control s and then save so we are going to paste uh, the code that we just copied or cut from here so control v so here you can see that uh, this is the sidebar code over here nav opening and this is the nav ending so what we are going to do is that we're going to write some code so that uh our home.blade.php can uh, show the code from the uh, sidebar.blade.php so for it we are just going to say at the end of include and we'll give two single quotation and our sidebar.blade.php is inside admin folder so we say admin dot sidebar so if i now save it then if we just refresh the sidebar should be back and here you can see so we are also uh, going to do the same for the navbar as well so let's go back to our code and here so here you can see from here it is written navbar.html so after the sidebar the navbar portion of code started and we'll uh, also the navbar code actually started from here but we'll also copy this div as well so we'll copy from here to up until uh, here you can see nav this is the ending here you can see the partial part uh, the comment out so we'll just press ctrl x and if you now save it then if we refresh we'll see something weird here you can see the header part is missing so we are just going to uh, create a file over here let's say here header.blade.php header.blade.php so ctrl s then save and here we are going to paste the code let's save it and let's do the same again let's copy it and paste here and here we are going to say uh, admin dot header save it let's refresh 
and there you go the header part is back as well so let's also do the same for the body part as well so let's go back to our code and let me just copy it from here to at the end uh, up until okay here uh, up until here here you can see this is the end of the body part and after this the skip part started so i'll just press ctrl x and if you now save it then refresh the body part should be missing uh, there you go there is no body part so we are going to create a file in the admin so let's say here uh, body dot plate dot php control s then save and we're going to just paste the code here then again we'll we'll just say copy paste it here and we'll say here body and let's also do the same for the skip and the css as well let's also keep uh keep them in a separate file so let's do the css part first and here uh, let me just copy it Control x and we'll say here css dot plate dot php Control s save Control v Control s and here in the head part we are just going to say admin dot css and let's also cut the skip part as well Control x let's click new file let's say script dot blade dot php Control s and then save and paste the skip code let's save it and let me just copy it from here paste it here and we'll say admin dot crip script so let's save it and if we now refresh everything should be fine so there you go everything is fine so in the next tutorial in the sidebar we will add like categories for product then we will add product orders and some other menu but in this tutorial first of all we need to have a logout option for the admin because uh, there is no option for logout right now and that is the most important part so we will have a logout option over here here you can see henley clean so instead of this we are going to have a logout option for the admin over here at this place so this is the header part so we will just directly go to our header.bread.php uh, in the admin folder and then uh, okay let me just check it here you can see create new project okay after this we have the henley clean uh, let's find the henry klein first okay here you can see henry klein and it is inside this list so let me just remove this li and also this button as well so right now if we now save it and if we now refresh okay the henry klein part is gone so we are going to have a logout option over here so here at the beginning i mentioned that xf layout uh, is actually required for creating logout and i actually remove that code at the beginning and i also mentioned that as well that i will be using that uh, later in the video so uh, if we just go to dashboard.blade.php here you can see xf layout opening and xf layout closing so let me just copy this on ctrl c and we'll go to header.blade.php and here we're going to say here li and inside this li we're going to say this and we'll also close this as well let me just write it like this so right now if we now save it and if we now refresh here you can see we have a logout option currently right now so we can also log out from here here you can see logout option if i click log out here you can see it took us to this page so let's try to log in again let's say here admin at that of gmail.com and the password one two three four five six seven eight click login and here everything is perfect in the admin dashboard so i hope this tutorial was easy for you and uh, if you like this video you can let me know in the comment section and if you face any problem you can also let me know in the comment section i will uh, reply you back as soon as possible and i would actually really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel so this is all for this tutorial thanks for watching stay tuned and stay healthy